In the United States, about one-third of packages dispatched never make their way to their final destination. Mind you, the reason behind this is not irresponsible shipping companies or fraudulent delivery services, and the hero of our story knows this better than anyone. Package pirates are thieves who steal people's mail right off their front porch, stealing thousands of dollars of property and oftentimes never getting caught. But this Navy SEAL wasn't going to let this person steal with his packages get away with it, and he had the perfect plan to catch him in action. Every time this Navy SEAL went outside to check for his delivery, he discovered that the package thief had beaten him onto it. His frustrations grew as time and time again. His package was stolen right off his porch. These packages never make it to the hands of their owners, as the package thief is always on the hunt for unmonitored packages lying idle on the front porches. Upon noticing that no eyes are set on them, these thieves quickly grab the package and make the run, hoping there is something valuable inside. Arthur Russell was a victim of these porch pirates. He had suffered long enough and simply could not bear the loss of his packages being stolen like this. Things aren't taken lightly in his line of work, and his time there surely had an impact on his tolerance for disorder. These annoying porch pirates would take the packages regardless of what they contained. Sometimes Russell would order some plain toilet paper, while other items would be something expensive, such as a car part. While these products got delivered in his absence, a thief with no honor would come by and steal the package. There was no way Arthur would let this slide. He tried contacting the local authorities, but they would pay no heed to this insignificant thefts. It didn't take long for Russell to realize that he's on his own to deal with these rats. Arthur Russell was training to be a Navy SEAL. His job was to execute life-threatening missions in unconventional warfare. It would be foolish to doubt this ability of a man with training like that of Russell. Not only was he physically trained to reach his limits, but he was also a man with a sharp mind. Navy SEAL trainees lock arms upon entering the frigid Pacific waters in this undated photo taken in 2000 at this Coronado Naval Amphibious Base in San Diego, California. Hell Week at this beach in San Diego is exactly what it sounds like for the third week Navy trainees who were subjected to nearly unimaginable physical and mental trials. Only the strongest survive. The recruits are divided into teams and if a team fails to complete a task in the allotted time, all its members must carry. That's why the package thieves made a big mistake taking the packages of Arthur Russell out of all the people in that area. Things were about to change. At first, Russell thought of making a box, but his plan soon changed as he thought that it would be too easy. His aim was not just to make the thief a fool out of himself. Instead, he wanted the thief to never steal anyone else's package again. So he decided to stick to frightening them. Enough to make the magic work, I was thinking how could I scare them and make them drop my package and then never come back to my front porch again. After a while of thinking, Russell finally found a solution to this problem. He thought that the best way to scare someone is through a minor explosion. The best part would be the element of surprise when the thief is least expecting it. Furthermore, the idea is not dangerous at all. It would only be an explosion and cause no physical harm to the thief. Russell listed down the ingredients and equipment he would need to make his little explosion solution work. He gave the nearby hardware store a visit and got everything he wanted. Now that Russell had all the ingredients, he needed to make his magic box work. It was now time to assemble it. Not only did he have to put the pieces together, but he also had to make the box look like just another delivered package. Russell looked at it with a smirk. In his backyard, he tested the bait and found it to operate just as he wanted it to. During the first test of the box, Russell found that the noise was loud enough to temporarily deafen his ears. In the second test, he made sure to cover his ears. All of this test proved to be as successful. Excited to see his plan become a success, Russell gave the local store one last visit for an item that was supposed to be the cherry on top. It was a hidden camera. Therefore, Russell installed a small camera that was capable of giving him a clear picture of the silly porch pirate. Once the camera was installed, there was nothing else to do besides planning the bait and waiting for an unlucky thief to come by. Russell's expectations turned out to be true as the thief didn't keep him waiting for so long. On that same evening, Russell got his first hunt. The camera was placed about the door and had a small size which made it barely noticeable. As the first package thief came by, Russell saw them clearly through his phone which was connected to the camera. 
He thought that the thief would have acted a bit suspicious in terms of body language. On the contrary, the thief just casually came towards the porch as if it's their own property. It was at that time Russell realized that his first culprit is actually a female. Surprised by the approach of his first potential victim, Russell gazes at the woman with wonder. Russell's attention is caught by the getaway car that was parked in front of his house. Turns out that the woman was accompanied by a man who was now pushing her to go back. After being persuaded by the man to go back and pick the package, the woman turns around and approaches the porch for a second time. As the man eagerly awaits for her return, she takes a quick glance at the surroundings and picks up the box. That's when a loud bang was heard. The woman gets scared to death and runs back to the car screaming like a child. She was so frightened that she dropped her cell phone on Russell's porch. Russell, on the other hand, sits on his couch with a smile of content. The trigger sets off when the plate is lifted upwards with the box, resulting in firing pin shooting a blank 12-gauge shotgun tip. The real question is whether this was legal or not. Unfortunately for Russell, his state clearly prohibits the assembly of such mechanisms that can result in explosions for individuals who don't have a permit. Police spokeswoman Loretta Cool says even though it's a blank, the way the device is made is actually illegal. Even more than him crossing the line, I'm not sure if people realize that even though this person is stealing something, he can't intentionally set them up to be hurt. Basically, the problem was the risk of a person getting hurt through this trap. Despite the box carrying the soul out of those greedy porch pirates, the fact that it is safe remains the same, according to Russell. He believes that there is no reason to doubt the box's safety, as he put it through several tests before laying the bait. As a matter of fact, Russell even put a tomato inside once to see if something happens, and the tomato turned out to be fine. It never hurt me once, it didn't hurt the tomato in there either. Russell told an interviewer. In the aftermath of all this, Russell thought the best way to deal with all of this is to put a no trespassing sign on his property and stick a note on the bang box that says, Beware. Now if anyone still chooses to touch the package, they will have no one to blame but themselves. Arthur Russell was, as we mentioned previously, a man of commitment. The joy he had experienced through catching these greedy devils was unlike any other joy. He loved seeing these thieves getting what they deserve. The bang box was working perfectly fine and it had not injured a single soul yet. So there was no reason convincing enough for this clever homeowner to give up setting his porch pirate's traps. His satisfaction was simply off the chart and for good reasons. Long had he watched his hard-earned money being thrown away like this, it was time for some payback. I know it's crude, but there is nothing scarier than a 12-gauge, Russell stated. Of course, the police were not happy with what Russell was up to until now. His clever idea had resulted in over 20 potential package thieves being frightened away. If you ever had something precious taken away from you, you can relate to what Russell felt when his packages were stolen. The police and Russell were successful in finding some of the individuals that were tempted by these unattended boxes. Russell continues carrying these criminals away and giving the police his door cam footage. The funny thing is that Russell was not always the only one after these porch pirates. Since he used to live with his cat Boots, who was 8 years old, Boots had always been there for Russell. The cat had a quiet personality and mostly kept for itself. Afterward, Russell would shift the kitty litter into the package box and wait for the suspect to stumble across the box. Imagine the look on the face of a porch pirate when they find the cat's feces in the package. Back at the time when Russell was testing his booby trap, he thought of adding Boots litter into an empty Amazon box. Russell placed the Amazon package on his porch and waited for his victim. Soon a man dropped by and grabbed the Amazon package he thought would contain something valuable. Russell looked at him with amusement as he went away. However, there was a problem. Russell's neighbor found the box lying a couple of blocks away from his house. The potential porch pirate had opened the box midway and threw it away after noticing what was inside. After seeing Russell's address on the box, his neighbor was not pleased. Russell's neighbor also read the note in the box that Russell had left for his porch pirate victim. It said, Hi, you're on camera. F you thief. Hope you like cat crap. Now things made even more sense to the neighbor. He realized that Russell was trying to teach the package thieves a lesson. An attempt was made when he filled another box with garbage, but the end was the same as the last time, until finally a bulb lit up over his head. This new idea he had gotten was later going to inspire his 12-gauge blank shotgun box idea. 
Russell thought of creating a box that held a balloon filled with glitter and confetti inside. As soon as the box would open, the balloon would pop up and our silly thief would look like a clown once again. This plan didn't seem to be so bad. The working involved a pin attached to a lever that would trigger whenever the box was opened. Unfortunately, it was not as effective as Russell intended to be. As a matter of fact, many believe the name Porch Pirate is deceiving. They believe that these thieves should be called out with a more insulting name. This is because of the frustration one faces when they watch their hard-earned money in the form of packages being taken away right from their porches. Similar to the case of Russell, Christine Hyatt also had enough of these sneaky criminals. Although the glitter idea was overall better than the trash and cat glitter one, it was still far from being able to make these thief run out of fear. Nonetheless, the addition of blank shots compensated for the shortcomings. Unfortunately, Russell's ideas sparked controversy on the internet as people started to quarrel about whether his actions were ethical or not. Some assumed that Russell was going too far in taking revenge 